I'm for, I'll, I'll shake your hand first. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll let you do There we go. All right. My man, congratulations. So I just want to shout out to, like, as always, really good commentary from both sides. This I guy is, like, that. the best commentator I've ever heard in a fighting game event. I guess I, I love this guy. <laughs> I can't deny that. And the best Machamp I've ever seen in any fighting game. Oh, I don't know about <laughs> that. I learned a lot of my stuff from the Japanese Machamps. They yeah, really and they're phenomenal as yeah. well. They yeah. are. There's a lot of really good uh, Machamps, and right now you're, you're starting to emerge as the best Machamp, at least in North America. Yeah. The only problem for me is, like, like with the Japanese Machamps, they don't play aggressive enough. Like, right. when they get out of advantage, they don't push that. I saw that when um, uh, Super Turbo Ryan took out that one Japanese Machamp player. Yeah, at that Evo. Jam yeah, he played so safe all the time. Yes, he did. You got to learn how to, like, press your advantages every now and then. Yes, you do. The character that uh, relies on getting in and getting those grabs and 6,000 damage close combats out of counter, which is, I love that setup. Counter next to the wall. If, yeah. you, if you land a counter next to the wall, they're going to eat a close combat. And be that's like... It's like 220 damage. It's insane. It's so much damage. Yeah, it's really good. So, since this is an interview, I feel like I should ask you questions. That's how they usually work. Okay. You drove from NorCal for, and I quote, you had nothing better to do today. You drove six hours to a local to compete. How do you feel after doing that? I feel pretty good. I was actually hoping for, like, Princess Aurora or just, like, T-Lock, I mean, um, for Engbad to show up, too, because I want, like, the best players. I want to go against the best players. I can possibly go against. Yeah. So that's why I actually drove down here because I was really confident in my skill and I wanted to put it to the test. Yeah, and you absolutely did just that. You did take out some phenomenal players. You took out Super Turbo Ryan. Wait, did you even play Super Turbo? Yeah, you did. You took him out in winners. Took out T-Loke. Uh, did you play Wizards? You played uh, a Brakeson. Which Brakeson did you play? I actually didn't play a Brakeson. I saw, oh, that was Couch. I was, I was playing friendlies with uh, with uh, Wizards. Yes, so you did learn. You, you learned a whole lot, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, I was a bit Maybe. rusty on the, I was breaks in matchup. I always loved playing it. It's just, it's just such a it's, fun yeah, matchup. It's, it's I don't awesome. Know. It's so cool because once you both get up close, it's insane amount of damage. It's super volatile. So now with today under your belt, how do you feel moving forward? So you, you just won a, a local in NorCal. Now you want a local in SoCal. So you pretty much own California right now. Um, how do you feel going into more tournaments? Do you feel like this experience really like boosted your confidence? Do you feel like you learned a lot? What do you, what do you feel taking out of this? Well, what I, what really boosted my confidence is um, my last tournament in North Cal I went to, where I went against this Blaziken player that um, that was almost the top there too. He's the one that got yeah. T Log into losers and Evo. And what happened? I just learned that matchup so well. He beat me in winners finals. I came back in grand finals and won six one. Yeah. It just. It just really showed, like, helped me with my reading ability. Like, I can definitely read a lot better live than I can online now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So and you played you played a Blaze again in Grand Finals yesterday, two days ago? When was that local? Uh, I think, yeah, two days ago. And then you played another Blaze game in Grand Finals today, and you beat them both. So what, yeah. do you, what are you thinking about that matchup now after these last two tournaments? After these two tournaments, uh, I actually talked with uh, Ryan about this, and I said... Honestly, Machamp does have the better matchup because when you think about it, if I jump in the air in dual phase and he does as well, I have the advantage with my with Yeah, my your jab. air counter. It beats all, oh, yeah, your jab and your air counter. Yeah. Yeah, but actually, we saw um, his wata -ta 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 beat your air counter, which is supposed to be – it's supposed to beat air to airs, but it lost. That well, was so actu weird. Actually, um, there's only a few frames of armor when you do that. Yeah. Because the jab in the air will beat the body slam. That's very true. If, if it goes head on. Very interesting stuff. So you learn you learn more things the more you play the matchups. Yeah. So do you have anything else to say to the stream chat? Also, while he's talking, stream chat, if you have anything to ask this man, ask away while he is talking. So give your shout outs. Who do you who who, who do you want to give mentions to? <laughs> His what da, 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 yeah, da, 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 that's pretty good. Alistair, so what, you should have drove with me. It's been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> see, you heard it here today. You should have drove here today, Alistair. All right, see you, man. I wish you would have played. I know, I love Brakesons, man. Come on. You should have beat Couch. <laughs> you should have beat Couch. <laughs> okay. So do you have any shout-outs to give to your NorCal friends? What, last, any last words for the, uh, for the people in the stream? Uh, honestly, I really love paying attention to the streams. We have a really good community of people. Oh, yes, we do. It just makes things so much more fun. Yeah, see you, man. Uh, yeah. Good point. But anyway, I got to talk right now.
Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'd like to just shout out to all the people that talk to this. It's really fun to just like listen to all like the different opinions from everybody. Indeed. And we only had one question. It's a question that <laughs> don't even know how you're going to answer. But Slipping Bug wants to know, how does he beat you with Libre? The answer is no, I'm assuming. Uh, Libre? <laughs> Honestly, it's really scary to be against the lead brave. Really, you think got, so? He's got me in, when he's got me in the corner. Okay, okay. Because like, the thing about lead brave is like his setups are really scary with the low stances into like grabs. And that does and, beat your and, counter. And, yeah, and most of my and most of my like attacks are kind of high stance, so that's that gets kind of scary. But other than that, you just have to be really patient to beat a lead brave. Yeah, and that's that's known as lead brave's worst matchup anyway. So. Really? No, yeah. no, it's not. Yeah, that's what every Libre <laughs> man says. See, that's you stupid. you contest me with my knowledge, that's but remember stupid. last time when you contested my knowledge? Remember the uh, worst matchup is the Sep mm. Yes, Libre's worst matchup is Mateo. I don't know about that, but anyway. All right, either way, thank yeah. you so much for coming down. It was a pleasure getting yeah. to see you and seeing you play live. Yeah, it was great. Thanks. I really appreciate being able to come to the event. Oh, like yeah, this. it is so much fun. Will we see you again at a SoCal tournament soon? Uh, I can't go to overheat at work that day, but I'll try. I'll try my best to come back. Was, so hopefully had, you will see this man. I had a really good time. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. And with that, thank you everybody for tuning in to this incredibly hype tournament. And quick question: uh, your couch like plays crazy weird, so that's the reason. <laughs> why do I, so why do I have an easier time against Druma Champ and I have a hard time against Couch? He said, "It's just because because Couch doesn't care. He'll just throw out things just to throw them out. So to a calculating player, that's really weird. Like I actually have a hard time against him because he'll do things that just don't make sense in my mind." <laughs> Fair enough. So you heard it here today. That was the viewer question of the day. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Hopefully we will see you on Saturday for Overheat. If not, then again next week on Wednesday Night Fights. Also this Friday for Pocket Bunch Fridays. If you're into Smash, hopefully we'll see you there. Last week, we had a lot of Pokemon people tune in, and that was very nice. Falcon Punch Friday is at the Dave & Buster's in Irvine, California. All hopefully, right. we will see you guys there. And once again, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you on Friday. Have a good night. Have a great night, y'all.